children this is 8th standard maths chapter name is factorization this is exercise 6.2 in the last video we have studied the factorization using identities so in today's video let us study how to factorize the algebraic expressions without using identities so consider the first problem in this we have the eighth problem here that is p square plus 6p plus 8 there are three terms in the given algebraic expression out of these three terms consider the first and the third term p square and 8 so we have 8p square Express this 8 has a product of two factors such that the product of 8 we know that we have 2 fours are 8. Since we have p square let us put the p to the both the factors. Therefore we get 2p into 4p will be equal to 8p square. Now, we got the product of the factors of 8. Now, we have in the middle term 6p. Now, to these factors, we have to apply the sign, either positive or negative sign, such that we will get the answer equal to middle term, that is 6p. Now, consider 2p and 4p. If we apply to both the factors, positive symbol then 2p plus 4p will be equal to 6p we got the middle term 6p therefore when multiplied the factors 2p into 4p we have to get 8p square then in the next step we have to get the middle term that is 6p so that we need to apply the signs to the both the factors so when we applied we got the middle term 6p now the next step is write p square plus in the place of 6p write 2p plus 4p 2p plus 4p and plus 8 so, in the place of 6p, we have substituted plus 2p plus 4p and 8. Now, there are 4 terms present. Now, we have to group in the next step the 2 groups. The 4 group, the 4 terms are made into 2 groups such that in 2 groups, 2 terms are present. Now, we group p square plus 2p one group and 4p plus 8 has another group now in this group we have two terms take p has a common factor now in the first group we have taken out p has a common factor then p square out of p square p has been taken out as a common factor and the remaining will be p plus 2 plus now consider the second group we have two terms 4p and 8 consider the numerical values we have 4 has common therefore take 4 has common factor into p plus 4 twos are 8 now in the next step remember that in the first group we have got p plus 2 in the same way in the second group when you take it out as a common factor any value you have to get the p plus 2 value that means first group and the second group you have to get the same value now out of these we have got p plus 2 has a common factor then we have p plus 4 so, this is the required factorization of this problem. p plus 2 into p plus 4. p plus 2 is the common factor of these two terms. The remaining is p plus 4. Now, we have another problem. q square minus 10q plus 21. Take the first and the third term. So, that it will be equal to 21q square. Now, let us find out the factors of 21. We know that 3 7 are 21. Therefore, we have q square. Put the 
Q to the both the factors. So, 3 7s are 21 Q into Q, Q square. Now, we have to apply the sign to these factors such that we will get the middle term minus 10 Q has the answer. Now, to get minus 10 Q has the answer, let us put the negative sign to both the factors. Now, minus 7 minus 3, you will get the answer minus 2, which is the required middle term. Therefore, the next step will be Q square. You have minus, in the place of 10Q, substitute minus 3Q minus 7Q plus 21. In the next step, we have four terms. Group the four terms into two groups such that in two groups there are two terms. So, our first group will be Q square minus 3Q. In the second group, it will be minus 7Q plus 21. Therefore, see the first group consisting the two terms Q square minus 3Q. We can take Q has a common factor. Out of Q square, Q is taken out as a common factor. The remaining is Q minus 3. Then, see the numerical values in the second group consisting of two terms. Take minus, we know 7 and 21 goes by 7, so minus 7 has common. Then, minus into minus it is plus, 7 is already taken out as a common factor, the remaining is Q. Then, minus into plus, it will be minus 7, 3 is 21. So, in two groups, we got Q minus 3 has a common factor. So, in the next step, take Q minus 3 has a common factor, then Q minus 7. Therefore, the required factorization will be equal to Q minus 3 into Q minus 7 of this problem. Next problem, we have p square plus 6p minus 16. So, consider the first and the third term of the given algebraic expression. We have 16p square. Do not consider the negative sign. Just take 16 and p square. Therefore, 16p square. Now, find out the factors of 16. Therefore, we have one factor that is 4 fours are 16 so 4 p and 4 p then another we have 16 the factor is 2 and 8 therefore p p a 4 we have 4 fours are 16 4 p into 4 p 16 p square then 2 p into 8 p will give you 16 p square now out of these two factors, we have to select which will get the middle term equal to 6p. Now, consider the first factor. We have 4p and 4p. Now, we will apply the sign. We have to get plus 6p. So, plus 4p and plus 4p will give you 8p, which is not the middle term 6p. Now, if you apply for the first factor plus and for the second factor minus plus 4p and minus 4p, you will get 0. And when you do the plus solve, you will get 8p. So, we will not get the term 6p. Therefore, this is not the factorization. This number, we will not get the middle term 6p. Now, consider the next factor 2p and 8p. However, when you multiply 2p into 8p, we will get 16p square. But in order to get 6p, we will take the bigger number with the positive sign and the smaller number with the negative sign. So that plus 8 minus 2, we will get 6p has the answer. Therefore, the required factor in which we got the middle term will be minus 2p plus 8p is equal to 6p. The next step will be equal to p square in the place of 6p, write this. You can write plus 8p minus 2p or you can write minus 2p plus 8p also. So, we have written plus 8p minus 2p minus 16. We got four terms.
Now group the four terms into two groups such that in two groups there are two terms present. Therefore consider the first group p square plus 8p in which we have two terms p square and 8p. Consider the second group we have minus 2p minus 16 consisting of two terms minus 2p and minus 16. Now consider the first group consisting of two terms p square plus 8p. We have come to know that p is a common factor. Then out of p square p is already taken out then the remaining will be p plus 8. Now we have minus 2p minus 16 in the second group. Therefore, 2 and 16 both goes by 2. Therefore, take minus 2 has common since we have the negative symbol here. Then minus into minus it will be plus. Then 2 is already taken out as a common factor. The remaining is p. Then minus into minus it will be plus. 2 8s are 16. So in two groups we got p plus 8 has a common factor. Therefore p plus 8 into p minus 2 is taken out as a common factor. Therefore, the required factorization of this problem will be equal to p plus 8 into p minus 2 is the answer.